Uh, my name is Asif Zahir. I'm one of the interventional radiology registrars in the northeast of England. Um, today, uh, I'm going to show you how to use a Minx control closure device um, from Cordis. Um, we've got a gentleman which we've just successfully completed a ILEC uh, procedure for. So I'm just going to show you the device and I'm going to show you how we're going to use it inside. So when we open it up and package it, it comes like this. The actual main device which we take out. Um, and then we've got a little syringe that we fill with uh, uh, 50, uh, sort of 2 mils of contrast and 2 mils of saline. Or you could have two, 4 mils of saline, it doesn't really matter. But we'll, what we're going to do first is just to test outside the patient to see if it works. So the way the device works is there's a balloon at the end of the um, closure device which inflates. And once it's inflated, we pull it back and that forms the tension in, on the inside of the vessel. And then we deploy the polyethylene glycol from the main body of the device. So I'm just going to show you how it works on the outside. So I put the syringe on on the back, inflate it, and you can see the balloon is working and it's turning on there. By the same time, you can see at the end of the device, there is a white, black, white marker. So that's what we'll see on the outside because obviously we won't be able to see the balloon working on the inside. We'll deflate that now so we know this device will work. Now, because we've done some iliac work, we've got long sheath in them at the moment, which is another point with this device. So we'll need, we usually use an 11 centimeter short sheath. So we're gonna have to exchange this for a short sheath first before we can deploy the device successfully. These come in a range of sizes, so five, six, and seven French um, closures. So for, for this, we're closing a six French device. So I'm going to go to the patient at the moment. So we've got a destination sheath in at the moment, or an amplatz wire. I'm going to take this off, and then we're going to swap it for a six French sheath, short sheath. So, so that's the cordis short six French sheath. And you could use any other six French uh, sheath as long as it's short. That's the main thing, because you obviously don't want the balloon to be open on the inside of the sheath. The tip is quite a traumatic. So that's absolutely fine. So we've got the six French sheath in at the moment. So at this point, we could probably take the wire out. And now, I've got the device here. Tip here will just go through the end of the sheath. Now, this can often be the more, most trickiest part of it, um, but if you, if you struggle to get it in to the top, you can use the dilator to just give you a bit of a hand. So now that's in. So I'm going to put that in. And as that's going in, I pull this back a bit, and you see this green thing is a ratchet. So that's used to capture the sheath uh, when we need it. So essentially, we capture the side arm here, and then we can rotate the device here. So now it's much more ergonomic for us to control here. Now, if you notice, there is a little blank marker here. So when the balloon goes up, you'll also be, you'll be on inside in the inside of the vessel. And when I'm pulling back, you'll see a line in the middle. And what we want it to be is in the middle of those two little lines on this side. And that shows us the optimum position of the balloon. So we've got the balloon syringe loaded. So I'm going to inflate that. So now we know white, black, white. Balloon is inflated, so I'm going to lock that on here. Pull that back a bit, so we've got it on um, lock. So when we need to deflate it, uh, that. So at this point, the balloon is inflated inside the vessel. So now I'm just going to pull this out. Now the ratchet will put the sheath back, and now you can see the bar is right in between this, uh, in between those two lines. So at this point. We've got maximum tension now, that's where the uh, balloon is. We press number one, and that's deployed the polyethylene glycol on top of the vessel. So at this point, we can relax, wait for two minutes, um, and after two minutes, I'll deflate the balloon and press number two to capture the device and remove it. So at this point, two minutes has lapsed. Uh, we're fairly happy with how the groin is looking at the moment. So at the moment, we've got the balloon on suction, so it's still inflated. So I'm going to just turn this on, and hopefully, you see air coming in. So at this point, the balloon is deflated. So all we need to do now is press number two to capture the device. And then hopefully, come out and press for a little bit for completion of hemostasis.